Hello, this is The Watchdog, and welcome back to Fun with Watches. If watches weren't fun, you'd only need one. Today, we're going to review the winner A458. Let's start out with the wrist check. I'm wearing this Podegar 901, and Grogo's wearing my Skimi 1251. Grogo said Ben Solo thinks his dad is sabotaging his mom's political campaign because he doesn't want to be known as the Republic's first lady. I said Han can be quite the misogynist. Grogo said, really? A misogynist? Do you think he can fix my sore neck? All right, let's take a look at the watch. The watch did not come in a box. This watch cost about $14, so you usually don't get a box with that price. But it's really not a bad looking watch considering what I paid for it. This is the second winner on my channel. I wasn't sure what it was homaging when I unboxed it, but a few of my viewers pointed out that it looked like something from the Longines Master Collection. I can see that. At about $14, this is about as cheap of an automatic watch as you can get, but although no one would confuse this for a $100 watch, it isn't bad considering the price. At Fun With Watches, I give ultra affordable watches a shot, and I keep that affordability in mind when I review them. This watch only comes in one colorway, but there are two other strap options. Lately, I've been showing screenshots of the different colorways, but unfortunately, the pictures in the AliExpress ad aren't worth seeing. If you don't like the brown faux alligator, there is also a black faux alligator. If you don't want faux anything, there is also a bracelet option. Normally, I choose the bracelet as it is more useful to review because it is easier for an ultra affordable watch to give you a bad bracelet. But this one looks so much better in leather, I gave the bracelet a pass. The watch is 41.2 millimeters if you measure it the bezel, 47 millimeters lug to lug, and it's 14.2 millimeters thick, including this dome crystal. Has a 22 millimeter lug width and weighs 77 grams on the supplied leather strap. Well, I'm sure it's faux leather, but leather nonetheless. Then we have a smooth bezel, and it's a chrome-plated alloy, of course. It's a $14 watch. You're not going to get steel. And then we have the dial. The dial has this texture to it, a little pattern, and it looks nice. And then we have the winner name and logo up top. And, of course, the winner logo looks kind of like the Zeppelin logo, which looks a lot like the other logos. And then it says automatic on the bottom, no mention of water resistance, and all you get is your basic 30. And of course, you don't need more than that because with this leather strap, you're going to really take it in the water. Then we have the indices, they're numerals, and they are not loomed. Then we also have a chapter ring with the minute markers and counters. And we even get sub-seconds. And then we have the doffing hands and they're blue. I'm sure it's not blue treated steel, but it sure looks like it. Then we have a date at the three, right next to the three. So it doesn't take the place of the three index. And it they keep it nice and small, so it doesn't look too obtrusive. So I like that date. I like what they did with it. Then we have an unsigned push-pull crown. One thing I, I like about these cheap automatics, unlike the cheap quartz, is you never have to worry about the minute hand jumping like you do on a cheap quartz. I've never had that issue with these really cheap automatics. So that's nice. Uh, the movement does not hack, though. You pull out the crown, and it does not. And, of course, you do have a quick set date, though. Then we have a domed mineral glass crystal, and as you can see, there's plenty of distortion, so it's single domed. You're not going to get double domed at this price, that's for sure. And then we have the case. The case is a chrome-plated alloy. You're not going to get stainless steel at this price, but it looks nice. It does the job. It's a little thick, a little chunky at 14 millimeters, but a lot of it's the case back.
but you do have a full 22 millimeter lug width so it's a, it's a rather large watch it's not huge but at 41 millimeters and a 22 that's it's a big watch then we have a screw down display case back and it is indeed screw down i tested it i was able to remove it these are real notches for a wrench a lot of watches in this price range these notches would be fake and then would have a little slot for a pry bar but no this is a real screw down and then it says mechanical stainless steel mechanical and then it says a458 so that is the model number of this watch if you look at my unboxing, I used a different number, and that's because the number in the AliExpress ad doesn't match this number. But since this is what's on the watch, this is the number I'm using on this review. I had the same issue with a forcing that I just reviewed, and I didn't change the thumbnail, but this one I did. And even though you have a screw down case back, you don't get any extra water resistance. Then underneath the case back, I don't know what the movement is. It's Chinese. It's automatic. It's very, very, very affordable. And it does not hack. But I can't make the rotor spin freely in either direction. So it's got to have a bi-directional rotor. I don't know how many joules. I don't know what the power reserve is. To do the power reserve, I would have to wind it fully and then just wait for it to stop. And I don't want to do that. But I don't really care about power reserve anyway because I'm a watch collector. I don't wear one watch constantly. So I'm always winding my watches because I'm putting them on when I haven't worn them in a while. But anyway, let's go ahead and put it on the time grapher and see what it's doing. Here it is on the time grapher. Even though I'm pretty sure it's the exact same movement as that forcing I recently reviewed... This one is doing much better. It's running about 15 seconds slow, where that forcing was running a full minute slow. So that's pretty good. And it's no big deal that it's running slow because it's a non-hacking movement. So basically, you're going to have to move the hands in either direction. So it doesn't matter slow versus fast, where a hacking movement fast is preferable. And there's hardly any beat error. Amplitude's pretty low. But it's a pretty smooth line on the screen. And for a watch this cheap, that's not bad. The strap doesn't say genuine leather on the inside. So I'm pretty sure it's a faux leather. Of course, it would be faux anyway. Because obviously they wouldn't use real alligator or crocodile on a $14 watch. And there is no quick release. Then we have the two keepers, one fixed, one floating. And then we do have an unsigned buckle. And we do not have drilled lugs or anything like that. So changing the strap, you'll have to use a tool. But it does look nice for a $14 watch. And it's got a nice gloss to it. One thing I wanted to show you though, is when you go to put the watch on, this, this buckle catches on the alligator slots easily. So it's kind of a pain. You kind of have to work it with your thumb. So I don't, don't like that. Of course, I would always recommend on a watch like this, get a deployment clasp. They're dirt cheap on AliExpress. And then the strap will last you a lot longer. Plus, it'll be easier to put on and off. But anyway, here it is on my 7.5 inch wrist. It looks really nice. It's, it's a nice looking watch for a $14 watch. It doesn't feel that cheap. And I got three notches left going out. So you should be able to... Yeah, three notches left going out. So you should wear this uh, eight and a quarter without needing a bigger strap.
And here is a watch on a black strap. Because remember, black is your other option for straps if you want to go leather. So just, uh, yeah, this isn't a leather strap. But just to show you what, the, what it would look like on black. We won't be taking a trip into the loom room because this watch has no loom. What do I like about this watch? Well, I like the dial. I think they did a good job with it. It looks uh, more expensive than it is. I like these blue doffing hands. And I like the fact that it has a screw down case back. I hate press on case backs. What are my gripes and groans? Well, no loom on the watch. Of course, that would have ruined the look. But maybe they could have like loomed the dial or something. The buckle gets stuck on the faux alligator when you go to put it on. And really, that's all I have to complain about. Considering that it only costs $14. Do I recommend this watch? Yes, for $14, there isn't a lot to complain about. It's not the most accurate thing, but since it doesn't have a screw down crown or hacking movement, it's easy enough to set. Just be sure to order a deployment clasp and then this leather strap will last you a lot longer and be a lot easier to put on and off. Oh, by the way, you'll need a 20 millimeter deployment clasp. Well, thank you for watching my review of the Winter A458 and I will be back with another review. Be sure and like and subscribe to my channel and of course, if you like this watch, be sure to buy it through my affiliate link and I will get a small commission. Bye.